What's up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're going to be shooting a twin lens reflex camera, also known as a TLR. TLR is a little bit different because as you can see it has two lenses. A lens here that I will be looking through the viewfinder to compose my image and then the bottom lens which is what's actually taking the photo. The TLR that I have here is the Mamiya C330 which is also a Bello Systems camera which I quite enjoy. Um, so yeah, we're going to walk around and see what we can find and take some photos. Today's video is also sponsored by KEH Camera and that is how I was able to get my hands on this camera to make this video. So yeah, shout out to KEH for loaning the camera and I'll talk a little bit more about them later in the video. One thing that makes a Bello system camera so unique like this is that you can get incredibly close to your subject. So I'm going to get mega close to these. What are these called? If you live in the south, you know these. They're the spring flowers that smell really good. Looks like I'm out here taking pics for your fourth grade science book. And on the books already Thank you, for sir. Next year. Have a great night, man. Without Doug McDermott, he's having card? a wonderful year. Oh, you're he's a free agent. <laughs> sir? Memorial. Holy, did we just pay our backup point guard? Sir? What's up guys, I hope you enjoyed that little portion of me walking around town shooting the Mamiya C330. I just wanted to give you guys some initial thoughts I had because that was my first time ever shooting a TLR. And I have to say, I actually quite enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would. I've learned over the years that I just personally enjoy any camera with a waist level viewfinder. It's just fun, and especially when you've been doing photography for many years, it's kind of hard to find that new experience that is just a good time. And I have to say, shooting a TLR definitely brought me back to the old days of just experiencing something new. My initial thoughts on the camera, um, it is quite heavy and a lot heavier than I thought it would be, but then also for medium format, it still is much more doable than a lot of other systems, especially like a 6x7 or even some 6 by 4.5 systems. I did find it quite difficult at times to make sure that my image was level because by the time I had composed and I was looking down into the viewfinder and all of those things, I noticed when I got my scans back, a lot of my images were very um, lopsided or geometrically um, falling forward or back. I don't know how to properly say that, but I think you get what I'm saying. Another thing is I'm not sure if all TLRs 
are six by six, but I think most of them are, if not all of them. And so I knew that going in six by six means that I get 12 shots as opposed to 10, which I'm used to as a six by seven shooter. And that was quite nice as well to have an extra two shots per roll. But at the end of the day, I think six by six is nice, but it's not something that I would ever see myself shooting quite consistently. Another thing to note is that the Mamiya C330 doesn't have a light meter in it, so I was having to use my phone on a free app. So that was something that I'm also not used to. Usually the cameras that I prefer have light meters in them. So I did have a few scans, um, maybe even three or four photos out of the 24 that I shot that were quite off. I thought that I was in a position to guess, but um, I definitely missed exposure pretty bad not having that internal light meter in the camera. So overall shooting a TLR or a twin lens reflex, that's hard to say, camera for the very first time um it was awesome i thought it was a really good time i know i feel like i've said that 10 times at this point but yeah it was a great time i don't think a tlr is for me and it's not a camera system whether it be the mamiya c330 or a yashica mat um, any of these or even like a rolly flex which is kind of the nicer 6x6 tlr system i don't think i would ever pick one up um, because it just doesn't really work for my run and gun style. This is more of a slow system that you need to take time with and um, be patient to make your compositions. And so probably not for me in the long term, if I'm ever incredibly wealthy one day and I can just buy an abundance of cameras, I definitely would buy one just to have around to take out, um, but not probably going to be in my arsenal anytime soon. I did want to give one last final shout out to KEH Camera, who is the sponsor of today's video. I've done a little bit of work with KEH in the past, um, but they recently became a sponsor of the channel. So you guys will be seeing more um, of them around here for the months going forward. And I'm super stoked about that for many reasons, but one reason being that um, we were able to get this awesome camera for the video because of KEH. KEH is the original reseller actually for collectibles, camera gear, professional cameras, really any kind of camera that you could ever dream of or want. And so I'm super proud to be letting you guys know about them. And one reason why I think it's very important that you guys as photographers kind of know about them is because one of the most annoying or frustrating things when it comes to buying used camera gear, especially film cameras, is when you purchase one and it doesn't work. With KEH, you can be assured that this store, this website, this company is being run by camera lovers first and foremost, and you're never going to get a camera from them that's broken or that is not rated clearly. And so I think this is a great service that as you're looking for these older film cameras, like a Mamiya C30 that runs on a Velo system or has a waist level viewfinder with ground glass that you know when you purchase it, you're getting what you purchase and you'll be ready to shoot right off the rip when the camera comes. So yeah, shout out to KEH. I would encourage you guys to check out their website for all of your camera needs or anything that you might be searching for currently, whether it be a lens, a camera, new or old collectible. I'm sure that KEH has it and you'll be satisfied with the experience.